Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we're working on trying to get our steel, our new steel mills up and running. We got our rail connection out here to this steel mill. Uh, we got this coal mine up and running. We have trains on there. They are running. Should be good. And then we started on the big project. Uh, the project that I want to do, which is I want to take the various resources that are available up here. We're going to be making some modifications to the top of this mountain. Um, we're going to be starting with iron ore and coal. And we're going to try and bring it by train down the mountain through the bypass on this station and then on to this station there. And so far, we've built a pretty crazy rail. <laughs> I mean, and um, we still have some work to do because um, it is just, there's just so much elevation that we need to burn off. Um, that this is, this is kind of getting kind of ridiculous. So. Let's keep going here. So let's get straight back into it. We have even faster rail available to us now. But we're sticking with the 180 on the right. You have this. I am still looking to try to make my my freight and my passenger rail visually distinct, but yeah, we'll we'll get there. All right, now we were having issues with it trying to come uphill. I need to and it keep coming unlocked on the maximum downhill runs because we are gonna have to. We're gonna have to helix this again. 112. I want to slow down that much. You know, I think we'll make this a hundred kilometer an hour turn here. What it is too much slope? That's too much slope, but that isn't. Oh, really? Ah, oh, come on, man. No, no, there's, there's not too much slope. That now curves in. Still saying too much slope. Yeah, 
And I really don't want to make this like all. All tunnel. This is. I get that where I can actually click on it. All right. Well, what if Still just a little bit too tall. Mm. All right, well, let's come out here. Let's come out on the surface here. Now it works, but it's going to slow down pretty heavily coming through the station. Mm, that's that'll be okay. It'll be okay. Now I got to double track this all the way back. Um, or do I? Do I need to double track that all the way? Uh, yeah, we're going to double track that all the way back. Expensive 21 million. Yeah, who cares? Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 don't don't build that. All right, and here is where it's gonna have to merge down. There we go. I guess I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to want to put signals. On this route. I mean, what's the likelihood that this actually makes money? Oh, that's wrong. in the tunnel. All right. Well, I think it is what it is. I'm just... All right. There is a rail line that connects. All right, new line from here to here. Rain freight. 
Uh, mountain freight is what we're going to call it because it's eventually going to just carry tons of stuff. All right. How are we doing? Let me just do a quick triple check to make sure nothing looks like it's a major problem other than our brand new freight lines well and fuel this should be making money it's just not very consistent in the money that it makes fuel are you loading up with before you go not even that much all right well i think this can be replaced with a much much smaller train okay like let's drop it down to just 100 capacity Attractive effort. We're putting a class 9,000 on there. 100 kilometers per hour. Could I get a decent electric on here? At least is a lot cheaper. Five kilometers per hour. All right. You know what? Let's go with this. It's going to be eighty five kilometers per hour cargo top speed. We can go with significantly slower. Yeah, we'll switch over to these tank cars. We'll give it 100 capacity. Let's see if that works better. Now, <laughs> speaking of crazy expensive trains, here we go. Because this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one that has the 488-8884 quintuplex on it. 10,000 kilowatts. A power, 800 kilonewtons, attractive effort. Let's go. And right now, we're going to be carrying open hop. What's the maximum speed of this train? 120, yeah. We're going to be carrying our open hoppers. Uh, just all of them. Let's see, let's let's bring it down to where it's good. There we go. Still good. 360 capacity on the open hoppers. Let's see. Buy it. Paint it. And send it on the mountain line.
It actually got a front cab on it. That's, that's unusual. Oh, it actually has got two cabs. It's got a front cab there and it's got a cab at the back. I mean, essentially, it's like a double-headed big boy, all packed into a, just a single locomotive. is running to where it's gonna go let's work on getting how come you're coming through empty Uh, that's because it hasn't received a, uh, they're not quite timed right. But hopefully once the, uh, the new train is running, we'll be bringing on through a lot more material. And now let's get... Let's get this one hooked up over here. to think about where this is going to go. South of the line looks like it needs more trains. Then let's give it more trains. Um... trying to think about what the orientation is going to be with this cargo. We have this passenger rail line right here. I'm thinking it's probably going to need to be like this. There's no way I'm going to be able to get into a bridge. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to a bridge. Not before it hits it. I 
I'm going to pull that as far back as I can and still connect, which is right about there. I mean, I could probably pull it even further back if I had to, because I could extend the the area where the station touches the road, but we'll go there. Put that little bit. Actually, no, we're gonna need to make sure that it's as lined up as I can get it. Okay, that will work, I think. And then we need to swing around here. It needs to come into there. I see it might need to be a tighter turn. Ah, oh, well, that's a that's a pretty serious hill there. Hold on. I was trying to avoid a tunnel, but it looks like it actually would work better. If we did in fact run a tunnel through there. I think that should work. Let's see how the um, the level crossings work. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. All right, that should be fine. Could probably stand to clean up that terrain a little bit. It's, it's fine. 
a little bit of a wiggle here. It's all right. What I think I'll do is I'll just connect. this terminal for the moment because I only think one is going to need to go in that direction over there Make sure you can probably make that a bit of a darker color we'll go with that color okay uh train freight uh what we're we gonna call this uh probably just rama steel Try and make this a functional dual purpose train. Oh, Those are some Russian diesels. They look like. Do we have a diesel yet? That is kind of worth putting on here. I don't. I mean, I could go with one of these plus a. You know what? Let's try it. Let's let's go with one plus an assist. Open hoppers, probably to bring around 200. Uh, maybe 240. Plus, we're also going to need flat car with side stakes to carry the steel. Yeah, we'll go with that. Buy it, paint it, put it on there. Thanks, see. Hold on. I'm gonna make a modification. I want to put that with that assist. So that's closer to the color that I'm using.
All right, let's go find. Let's go take a look. We have tons of iron ore and tons of coal. Beautiful. Where is the train? Is the train actually carrying anything yet? Nope. Hasn't even gotten there yet. Right, let's hop on board. Doing 87 kilometers per hour up the hill. Very consistent. I think this is the the, the helix. Ah, we're coming to an opening, I think. Maybe not. Trick of the light. And now we're auto saving. There we go, there's the exit. Coming in. And it's going to have a lot of material. Yeah, we're going to need a we're going to need a much much bigger train. Um Let's give it 600 capacity. Let's tell it to turn around. All right, get all the way out of the uh, station and then we'll tell you to turn around again. Okay. I would like to see how much this does in fact make when it gets to the bottom of the hill. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to knock I'm going to pause the date cuz we're just going to run this Going into the first helix.
go ahead and enter the cockpit. Yep, it's running at full speed. Yeah, downhill is gonna is gonna fly. Pop out on the other side. We're going to run along the edge there. Now, I think this is the, this is the second helix. It runs at the much slower speed. And it's really got to hit the brakes as we go through this little windy run as we come into that station. Quickly reaccelerating. Break out of here. Oh. We're getting close to the station. And it's going to work its way over to the terminal that it's going to be using. It made like 30 million <laughs> and it did actually clear the switches oh beautiful okay so we did not make that's about as long as i can possibly make that train and still work and it is going to make profit it's gonna be a profitable run all right Excellent. Now let's put all coal here. It hasn't put any iron ore. Ooh, that means this train. We're gonna need to manage you. And you're gonna need some flat car with side stakes. Four, five, six. Let's give you six of them. Because now you're actually going to have iron ore that you can deliver. And that means you're going to have steel that you can bring back eventually. Except that I have nowhere to send any steel just yet. That's going to be the next project. So we'll go ahead and stop here for the day. And then we'll figure out where it is that we're going to send our steel. Probably to that machines factory over there. And then uh, we'll get that going. We're going to find some place where we're going to get some some silver. We have a silver mine. But I have no silver mill that's anywhere close. The only one that's over here. So we might have to um, repurpose something. All right. But for now, we'll stop here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.